Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube land. Thank you very much for joining me. This is the Sarath, and let's play Stellaris with the Utopia pre-release patch. So today, we're going to play a new game. We're going to create, actually go through the creational process of creating a new empire, because things have changed here. Uh, the Vulcanian was something I was playing with as I figured this out. So right off the bat, your appearance... Not, uh, not much has changed. You still have the humanoids, mammal mammals, reptilians, avian, anthropods, monskull, and uh, fungoids. So we're going, I think, let's go for, let's go for the um, bugs. We could be bugs. What do we want to be? Um, slugs, maybe we could be a sl be slugs. Yeah, let's go. Let's go slug the snails. So species names. Um, nah, let's not call him Krogan. Um, banana, banana. Fruit. Let's call them fruit. We are going to go with. Let's go for sure. Names, traits. Now there are. Don't think these. I don't believe these have changed. So. Um. So you have we right now we can pick two traits with up to five. So we have to take some negatives if we want to be non adapt adaptive. So let's say we want to be intelligent. Oh, well, we just maxed out our thing. So we need to take some negatives. So we need to be slow breeders, slow learners, which kind of negates that. We can be weak. I don't want, don't think we're going to be that, but we'll do sedentary. I imagine that they wouldn't be very sedent, be very, very mobile. And I think, we're, oh, Wasteful is new. So we are going to be decadent because I plan on making some slaves. So now we could be very, we could be strong army damage. I, I would imagine these guys would be fairly strong. Uh, let's see, rapid breeders would make sense. Um, adaptive. But we could, I think, we grab ourselves a natural engineers. And let's make them rapid breeders. So we have actually used up all of our traits. So we don't move fast. We need slaves. We're smart, really smart. So we get plus 25% to our engineering output. And we breed like rabbits. Our ruler. Let's name her... Um, Shola. Um, hi, pre. And let's see. We could be. Eh, actually, I kind of like that. Let's change the room, though. And there we go. So we have no, none of those other stuff. So I think we're going to hit, oops, uh, hit back. Home world. Snellinia. Let's name this place. Um, Slimer. And I think... We are probably going to want a tropical world preference. Uh, city preference, that looks good. Now, here comes our government ethics. This has changed. So we get, a, we get to select some of our ethics, like this is hive-minded. So the rulers are become immortal. And 
must use AI outlawed, cannot use psionic or synthetic ascension paths, and um, so this gives us increased unity. So we could take that, and that pretty much leaves us one one choice. So one mind, but I'm not gonna go with we're not gonna go with that. We have authoritarian, for example, slave unrest. I think we're gonna take that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go for. So we can be a spiritualistic, reduce unrest. We can be militaristic, uh, pacifist. No, um, materialistic sounds good. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do xenophile. So that leaves us with the. Uh, we now have a choice of hold an election for the ruler, dictatorial, or imperial. So imperial gives us a designated successor. So we have, you see here, various different, different um, civics we can start with here. Synthetic evolution. Uh, Socratic evolution. So, for example, we can actually start the game with slaves, which we'll show off. Cutthroat policy, slavers guild, eh. uh, police state, te technonancy. Honestly, though, though, with the Socratic evolution, probably the slaver guilds is a good choice. You have down here imperial cult. Uh, Beacon of Liberty, various different things, warrior culture. So you can be very militaristic. This is a, this is actually some very nice changes. Uh, so we're going to hit next empire name. And Slimers flag. We're going to here, let's just go ahead and go orange starting weapons. I feel like that these guys would be an energy weapons. Probably wormhole. We will go for these type of ships. Hit next. So here is our, sl our slim time. Really? There we go. Slime time. Did I screw anything else up on there on names? Probably. You're pro yeah, everybody's probably out there laughing at me. All right, we'll hit save. We are going to hit done. Now, I personally like the huge stars. Um, I don't like too many AI starts or um, fallen empires. We're not going to crank up the... Actually, this could be a lot of fun, but we're going to leave that as... One for the half battle worlds. We don't care about any of these. We'll randomize everything. End game crisis is on. So we will actually let's go ahead and crank up a little, little bit extra, some extra worlds here to give us a little bit more of the colonization game because that has changed here. So we'll hit the play button. And so now. Now think now here's where things have started to change. So this is fine. This is this is this is nor it has not changed. But we have this new resource called Unity. And so you need to basically select your paths. You develop Unity resources and you unlock various perks to get different things like the ability to unlock uh, Dyson Spheres or Ring Worlds, that kind of thing. So, let's see. Now, also, look at this. Colony Ship. You do not have to research colonization now. 
So, good on there. We're going to research solar power networks there. We will... I'm going to... As much as I want this, I'm going to research this because we're going to need, need the influence. And let's go ahead and... We're probably not going to need this right away, but it makes sense from a our perspective here that we should have that. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and build a North Science class. And then we're going to send you to survey the system. And we have wormhole there. So what are we looking at here? Where did we spawn? We spawned in this port portion of the galaxy and we rolled some nice worlds nearby. So we're going to survey this system. We're going to survey these two systems. Oh, no thing. You see here? Um, the number of systems we can directly control actually can, will be increased through research and through, say, I believe it's research, but, uh, for example, is it supremacy? That's army damage. Uh, pot in here, you can unlock, unlock um, various things here. So more increased abilities, if I remember correctly. Um, so we'll just hit the unpause button. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. My memory has been known to be Kind of wonky. So we're going to let these things survey. So we're going to go the fastest speed as we let, let things survey. And so construction. hopefully, complete. all right, so we'll hit the pause button. And we have now have a science ship. So we're going to go ahead and recruit. I uh, just want to verify here. Nope, okay. We're going to recruit. We're going to put you here and then send you to survey these systems all within our borders. So we'll hopefully get things Another going fairly well. 40% we are going to leave that be until we have a higher rank scientist. So another thing is the rally points are really nice. So you can build them up and they'll go directly to the fleet. So if you're in combat or like in an invasion area, you can start building them up and they'll automatically do reinforcements. So look at that. We actually have some reinforce sources. Oh, we have discovered the Cybrex, which is not a new one. So we're going to begin that. Situation log updated. And we will right up. Well, didn't mean to go in there, but we're going to start a mining station. Contact report. Remnants. The administration has, uh, has received a science officer's report on alien remnants with some apprehension. The leave the leaving the question are now widely considered to be definite proof of unknown forces having been active in the galaxy. Although some prominent fruit thinkers reject this in favor of identifying traces as freak geological formations or the result of curious natural phenomenon. So we have found proof of alien life. So <laughs> Narf Narfina. Nice. Situation log updated. Oh, oh, we have found the Alpha Menace. Um, okay, so we have found spacers. Nice. Well, congratulations. System and there's some more complete. more minerals. So we're going to system survey complete. All right, so go ahead and build another space station there. Oh. Wow, with that little increase. Anomaly found. Uh, 10%. Go ahead and research this. So that, that minor increase of habitable planets really has changed the balance of, of our colonial game. The thing is, though, we still have a little bit of time to go. Ooh, alien writing. Nice. So... We still have to worry about the birth of space piracy. So before I start that, I'm going to make sure I have some complete. Corvettes. System and complete. Anomaly found. All right, so let's see. Hmm. 
All right, anyways, let's take a look at our surface. So here we go, Here are, here's our enslaved population. Another thing is food is now empire-wide, which is really good for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear that blocker. And so, all right, so we're gonna set their, their individual rights, which reminds me I need to set our policies and edicts. Abandoned shipyard. Okay. Situation log updated. Uh, food stockpiling. We'll go cleared. balance. Survey complete. We're gonna go with balanced, so we get a little bit of extra food. Uh, can't go full. Resettlement's allowed. Full contact. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Purge is allowed. Okay. First contact protocol is aggressive. Let's see. Planets and sectors, species, traditions. All right, anyways. Destruction ship is not doing anything. Oh, would you look at that? We actually have a desert world. So maybe if we get some terraforming in there, we can- System survey complete. Uh, we can System actually- survey complete. Consider making some other things. So science ship is actually done. So let's go ahead and get you started over here. And there you go. All right. So ooh, plenty of energy around. Let's just, which is good. But let's go ahead and ooh. We have an observation post in the Waxilla system, which is here. Interesting. They are in the Iron Age. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a... Construction complete. This actually adds more unity to us, Anomaly but I want fine. power. System survey complete. Go ahead and research that. And there's really nowhere to put that. I may put it somewhere else, like here, maybe here eventually. But power is research going to be complete. a good thing. New research. Let's go ahead and unlock. See, I'd like to do this, but I think the research speed is very important. Get a little bit extra research a little bit faster. That, that will help us later in the game when things start getting a little bit more expensive. And... All right, so go ahead and build mining stations there and can't quite afford to do that there. All right, so now we have enough unity to adopt our first policy. Now, as an expansionist, I kind of like the fact that you can add more unity for colonies. You can have a Reduce the distance, which is good. The frontier outpost reduction is good. This is a very good first step to adopt. And that's what we're going to adopt. I'm probably going to be doing, uh, probably going to go with the, I'll probably end up going supremacy next. Probably just because that will help us help us in the later later game. So let's see. We have a military fleet. We will. Alright, so we got some extra power coming in. We should actually be able to handle Research the pirates. Complete. I'm going to actually build System one more ship. Complete. And All right, go ahead and do improved spaceport. Construction complete. All right, so we have what? An active building. So what we're gonna do is... Well... We're plus, um... Really, I don't have anybody to put there. 
So we're going to let just put you there and all right, we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually. We'll let that be. And so we're at the Crossroads Neb complete. Nebula. Anomaly found. Uh, 10%. Go ahead and research that. So the f now what I'm waiting on is we will go research ahead and do complete. a colony ship here. Good. Growth time. All right, so we found a Cybeck... Research System station. Survey nice. Pause. Situation log updated. Uh, let's see. This is this is good, but we do have slow breeders, so genome mapping will actually make us more normalized. Go ahead and research that then. So now that we're big enough, we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a. Col wow, we are exactly at even. All right, so we found a pirate treasure. Let's go ahead and build our colony ship. We can actually build it on... Nice, pre-slate, okay. Where's that? Right there, okay. A pre-space civilization. We kind of may want that, actually. So you can see we can select our colonists there. Let's go ahead and do that. Now you can actually do that from Actually, cancel that. So let's go ahead and I think there's a 24 world tropical world here. So a really nice thing is I can click here. I can click colonize and now I can select here. And so we're actually going to build. So I click colonize and then boom. Let's call this. Lex real prime. And so the next problem we're gonna have though is we don't have a lot of energy to spare. So we're gonna end up losing some energy here. So let's go ahead and build a mining station for some energy there. And let's see, this is so this is a pre-stave. Pre, this is a pre-space civilization. This was a, these guys were Iron Age and the other one was pre-space. So I kind of want to uplift these guys ASAP, bring them into civilization. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, about the new YouTube Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you on the next episode. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and good night, everybody.